I'm Justin. <laughs> And I'm Jeff. Do they all taste the same because the flavors are melting on your tongue? And we're on a train! It's not moving yet. No. But imagine it like moving like this. Yeah. But we're gonna go to... We're gonna go on a train to go to somewhere. <laughs> As you can see, we have our own carriage or whatever you call it. Cabin to ourselves. Yup. Yup. What is this called? This is the uh, snail toget. What does that mean? P pretty. All I know is like snail, like please, like pleading someone, but that must be different. Yeah, maybe it's like the pretty train or something. There's a fast train. But this is not that one. This is the slow train. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. Also, this was a crazy Jeep. How much was it? Um, in total, there and back was like a hundred dollars for two people. That's great. I think because we booked it so far out, maybe. Yeah, it was a, a thousand kroner, which is a hundred dollars for two round trip tickets in a private cabin. That's crazy to Stockholm. That's a, like a five hour train ride. Yeah, we're taking the train from Malmo to Stockholm to see Beyonce. Yada 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 boom boom kaka. Um, it's boom boom. I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god, we're moving. I was like, gonna start waving. I'm like, oh wait, that guy has a scene cane. <laughs> that would be rude. This is how fast it's gonna be the whole time. I'm just I have no idea. I hope not. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, we should do this video in the style that all like the train otaku people do, where they don't show their face or they blur it out, and then they just put captions underneath. I'm just excited to try, like, fast food Chinese. Actually, Chinese in general, we haven't had Chinese food here. Um, I don't recognize any of this. This was chili oil beef, cashew chicken. Oh, I guess that's kind of something. And then I got red curry chicken, but I just got the bamboo shoots from it. And then fried fish, fried shrimp, little egg rolls, fried chicken, and then a chicken wing. <laughs> it's see-through, so. <laughs> All right, it's the curry bamboo shoot. Oh, that's good. I wish I got more of the curry. And I'm gonna try the cashew, the cashew chicken bamboo shoot. Mmm, that's good. I wish I got more of that. Hold on, there's no bamboo shoots from the chili oil beef. I'm gonna try the beef, I guess. Mmm, so good. These all just taste kind of like the same. Oh. Which is fine. The beef is chewy. I haven't tried the chicken, but it feels super rock hard. But the flavors of them are like pretty decent. They're well balanced. Savory, umami, a little bit of sweetness. And the rice is fine. Do they all taste the same because the flavors are melting on your tongue? Mm -mm. Mm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Yeah, okay, I want to try the egg noodles. Mmm, great. The egg noodles taste like nothing. Because the flavors have already melted. So good. Like, what was the point of like putting them in on the putting them on the grill, girl? Just heating them up. Yeah, she was just frying them for fun, just to like. There's no seasoning. Yeah. No sauce. No soy. No nothing. What did she even do to them? She didn't even add any MSG to them. Yeah, there's like no mm, whatever. Chicken wing. Oh, the chicken wing tastes like when you go to a Chinese buffet and you get a chicken wing there. It tastes different than chicken wings that you like make or get from elsewhere. Like, it doesn't just taste like a chicken wing, it tastes like a chicken wing from like a Chinese buffet, so... Oh. Good, 10 out of 10, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I should have gotten the sauce for this. It's nasty. Okay, let's try this fish that I'm sure is gonna be flavorless, because I didn't get any sauce, because I was like, I don't want a lot of sauce. You know? There were no sauce containers, it was just like... Just dump it all in. Yeah. Like how, um, on TikTok there's a whole trend of like, Oh, we're gonna have a Chinese takeaway, but then without the word takeaway, so it sounds really offensive. And then they just dump the sauce on because there's no sauces in the stuff already. Okay, this is good. I wish I got another fish. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. it's really good. It's just moist and soft. Breading's crispy and flavorful. Like, they seasoned the breading for sure. I was excited for these, so if these suck, I'm gonna be so sad. I got five of them. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. The flavors are melting on your tongue. That's all right. 
Really? I like it. The outside I mean, felt crispy, so I was thinking it would be like a crispy texture, but it's... It's pretty soft, yeah. Yeah. Chicken's actually not that dry. And by the way, this is like shrimp. That's crazy. So much breading, mm -hmm. which I love. Zero flavor. <laughs> which you also love. The white jumped out. <laughs> mm, I would say most of it has no seasoning, but the flavor profiles are decent enough that I don't regret getting it. Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? Get it? Because it says Loka. This is like a soda brand called Crush. I don't know. I don't think it has anything to do with US Crush. And then the flavor is Smoltron, which is like wild strawberry. Don't know what that means. I think this is like crazy carbonated. I have trust issues. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm excited. Weird. It's like a super crisp strawberry, but then it also tastes a little like raspberry-ish maybe. Yeah, I get that. It smells like just like a fake kind of strawberry, but it's it tastes like both fruits a little bit. It also looks like both fruits a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it's like some in-between thing. And I got Fanta Exotic. Yeah. Which is a very popular flavor here. It has orange, passion fruit, and something else. It's kind of like their version of, um, what's it? Tropical fruit. Yeah. Oh, you did it correctly this time. Ta-da! I yeah. almost pulled it off again. Yuck, Hinger Klar. Anyway. He's delicious. Do you like passion fruit? What's Persica? Whatever this is. Um, uh, what's the word for peach? Oh, it could be peach. Yay, I love drinks. Welcome to my crib. I will not hurt you. You are safe. <laughs> Does anyone know that? No. <laughs> Just me. I will not hurt you! You are safe! Welcome to our, our cabin. We have six chairs, even though there's only two of us. Also, all of our stuff is on the chair, even though there's shelves. We have two large shelves up top, both on this side, and on this side. We have smaller shelves underneath the larger shelves for any smaller personal belongings. We also have a table where we put snacks um, and drinks and also sunglasses and napkins sometimes. And we have a window that you can open and it's loud! Oh, it's not that loud. Uh, we also have curtains. They work super good. They don't make me feel like I'm having a seizure. I noticed actually that all the other cabins have red and we're the only one that has like this like calmer color. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't mind it because red is a lot. Oh, and also... I don't know what this is for exactly. But... We put all of our stuff up here. So you can't see you can have them. It's such a comfortable experience. Wait, that's actually kind of nice. Thanks for coming by. Oh wait, no, there's more stuff to show. There's buttons up here for you to control the lights. So right now it's just dim. And then there's even temperature, climate control. Ooh. In Celsius, so you have to Google it if you don't know it. 
Um, also, I don't think this door locks, which is wild to me, but you know, whatever. Did we mention the these things? Oh yeah. And if you're not being tortured by sitting in the middle seat, you also get an outlet. Over on this side, I mentioned the table. But if you're on this side, you also have a table as well. I don't know if it's great. I mean, it looks like it functions, I guess. But there's that. Okay. We are on our way back home from Beyonce. I mean, Ooh. Stockholm. And we wanted to show you what this return trip is like and also what we're eating. <laughs> Caution, addictable content. It's Taco Bell. It basically is like a, I don't know. Like what's a chain Mexican restaurant? Like there's a lot of like Tex-Mex restaurants where you are sit, where they're sit down, but then the food's not as good as like Mo's or Chipotle. Even though neither of those are like actually like Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex. It's very specific, if that makes sense. Yeah, we got guac. Actually, it's decent. There's like chunks in it. And then we got what they called hot cheese. It's still liquid, so I don't think it's actually cheese. Oh my god, if this falls, I'm gonna cry. Mm. Super mild, very limey, which I like. It is, yeah, very lime forward, yeah. I don't know what this is. This is probably not even cheese. It tastes like um, like movie nachos. Mm. Beautiful. I love this country. Who um, doesn't want to eat Tex-Mex while looking at pretty vistas on a train that costs us a hundred dollars round trip for two people with a private compartment? That's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, keep looking outside. It's loose. It's super loose. It's like water. A little bit. It's also chunky. Okay. It's good though. Right? It has a little bit of heat too. Which they is mixed surprising. some kind of salsa. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because none of their salsas are spicy. So here's all the stuff we got. We got burritos. They look pretty good. This is not Tex Mex. The chicken's a barbecue, but like, bar like American barbecue, like like barbecue sauce, really. It's good though. It's flavorful. Mm -hmm. I think they use like like a fresh cheese, so it's kind of like a queso fresco, which is weird. Because hmm. then you have zero tax and a little bit of Mex inspired, like that's what it is. Interesting. This is basically like a barbecue wrap with feta. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a burrito before that. It's grilled like this or whatever these like lines are. All the way down. So that's interesting. They put this burrito on a George Foreman. <laughs> also very loosely wrapped, like it's falling apart. Does that taste more Tex Mexy since it's not barbecue chicken? This tastes more like taco seasoning y, yeah. Oh, okay. Like the is it cumin? Is that like the cumin? Cumin? It is a little weird, but it's good. <laughs> this is like the way to see Sweden. It's so nice. Do you have anything else to add? See you soon. <laughs> my lips are chapped. <laughs> see you soon, my lips are chapped. What would you say about the animal? How they kill people?
are back home and ready to give our review of Snell Toget. The ride to Stockholm, the car was very noisy. Beautiful sounds of the train on the tracks drowns out anything else. It's so soothing. I think it was an older car because the window opened up at the top and it wasn't like sealed really well. Also, we were like in the last compartment. But like in the end, it didn't really bother me. You just put in headphones and whatever and I couldn't really hear it. True, and the ride from Stockholm to Malmo was like quiet mm -hmm. and great. So I, I guess that'll just depend on whatever, whatever car, you're in. car you get. I never want to fly to Stockholm again. No, it was so nice too. Yeah. The only time we went to the bistro car was on the way back from Stockholm and they ran out of food. <laughs> And they announced it. Like, we already brought our own food anyways, because we are like, how good is train food going to be? So that's a, probably a good tip. I guess don't expect there to be, like, meals, because, yeah, they ran out. I know. I also like the compartment because you get your own space. You can make noise if you want to. I do think it's a little weird that there's no curtains from, like, the cabin to the hallway. I guess it's so that, like, you don't do anything illegal or weird or something. But like, that it is weird because like, people would just walk by and be like, hmm. Yeah, they were just like, yeah. I mean, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I always just assumed there would be like privacy curtains and there were not. Still, it's, you get your own space, you get your own temperature controls. Highly recommend the Snell Toget and getting your own private compartment. That was super nice. Yeah, like this felt like I was just chilling in my hotel room, mm -hmm. which is like a really fun part of vacation for me mm -hmm. so it just felt like part of the vacation which is really nice yeah instead of like feeling like you're crammed into like a tin can going like however many miles an hour i don't know i really liked it but that's going to do it for this video like and subscribe to catch what we do next and until then thanks for watching okay bye